Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear friends. Today in this important video lecture I am going to talk about basic knowledge for civil engineers. This knowledge is very helpful for those civil engineering students which are working on construction site. That's why because this is basic knowledge. Okay. Those points if you don't know so maybe you will learn in this video. So you must watch this video from start to end then you are able to learn something new about civil engineering so let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so must like the video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon if you are new on this youtube channel let's start basic knowledge for civil engineers and these knowledge can help you on construction site if you are working so the first one is weight of steel bar in kg per meter so what's the weight of steel bar in kg per meter that's why because we have different diameters of steel bars in millimeter like 6 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10, 40 millimeters, right? So, for 6 millimeter die of steel bar, the weight of steel is 0.22 kg per meter. And for 8 millimeter die of steel bar, 0.395 kg per meter. So, now from where we got this value? So, this is very important for you. So, we can get this value or we can get weight of steel with the help of given formula d square divided by 162 so here guys the dia should be n millimeter dia should be n millimeter which i have put it here 6 uh, 6 8 10 12 millimeter okay so it can give us the weight of steel n kg per meter okay with this formula you can got you can get the given value right so for 10 millimeter the weight of steel is 0 0.616 kg per meter for 12 millimeter 0.88 kg for 16 1.578 kg for 20 millimeter 2.466 kg and for 25 3.853 kg for 32 millimeter 6.13 kg and for 40 millimeter 9.865 kg per meter so it's very useful for you people so if you have more than this dia more than 40 millimeters so you can use the same formula to get the weight of steel and kg per meter right so now in second column we have clear cover to reinforcement to main reinforcement so we have uh, different structure like footing column beam slab staircase etc so what's the clear cover or concrete cover for rcc structures right so per footing that is 50 millimeter as you can see guys this is footing this is column right so the footing clear cover should be 40 millimeter this should be 40 millimeter and then we can put here steel bars okay this should be 50 millimeters right not 40 sorry for rough foundation top that should be also 50 millimeter but for the bottom and sides it should be 75 millimeters for raft foundation and for, for column we are we have already discussed in many videos that is 40 millimeter for column and for beam that should be uh, for column so this is the top of column okay so this is the lateral ties as you can see this is one steel this is other other so this is okay this is concrete cover or clear cover it should be 40 millimeter and for beam this uh, should be 25 millimeter and for rcc slab from 15 to 25 millimeter is okay but normally we provide 20 millimeter okay but now uh, we have the other one uh, for staircase especially in west and also for sides that should be 15 millimeters so these are concrete or clear cover for Rain, uh, main reinforcement now we have concrete grades different concrete grades and its compressive strength in newton per mm square r for psi okay so uh, we have different grades and i've already discussed in many videos grade of concrete so if you don't know about grade of concrete so click on the up i button then you are able to watch the uh, video for grade of concrete different grade of concrete about its strength etc okay but this is just uh, for basic uh, knowledge okay i will tell you for m5 m75.5 uh, so this is nominal mix okay not a uh, design mix this is nominal for m5 uh, the ratio of uh, m5 grade concrete that is one ratio five ratio 10 one is cement five is sand 10 is aggregate or crush for m7 that is one ratio four ratio eight and for m10 one ratio three ratio six for 15 one two four 
for M21 1 ratio 1.5 ratio 3 and for M25 1 1 2 right so guys now it's compressive strength so it means M5 means at the compressive strength of M5 grade concrete that is 5 Newton per mm square okay and for M7.5 uh, M7 not sorry not M7 M7.5 sorry for that so that is 7.5 newton per mm square and for m10 10 newton per mm square is the compressive strength of concrete after 28 days and the concrete cube size should be 15 by 15 by 15 centimeter okay so for m15 uh, that is 15 newton per mm square for m20 20 newton per mm square and for m25 25 newton per mm square so guys these are some useful data which i've discussed the front of you and it can help you on construction side so guys if you have any question about this video especially uh, for basic knowledge uh, especially for fresh civil engineers so you can comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye